Lost in a world filled with corruption, three siblings must not only find each other, but work together to help their kind escape from the destruction of the Erlags. Greek Memories of Azure is a side-scrolling single-player game with beautifully hand-drawn animations. Throughout the game you take the role of three siblings, Greek, Adara and Raidel, to guide them through the lands of Azure after it has been ravaged by the Erlags. The game ensures that you have to alternate control between each sibling and use their unique abilities to escape from the Erlag invasion. There is no way to avoid this. The more you work together as siblings, the easier the game is to play. Greek is the smallest brother of the siblings. His ability is at double jumps and the sword slash. He can swim but his breath is only for, held for a short while and he can crawl through small tunnels to reach different areas of the map. Adara is the middle sibling and has control over magic. She can use it to shoot attacks from different directions, allowing for a more ranged attack gameplay. She can float for short periods of time and is also able to swim like Greek for a little bit longer than him. Lastly is Raydel, the oldest of the siblings and the largest and the slowest. His attacks are stronger than the others but he is unable to swim like Greek and Adara. He has a grapple and a shield. The grapple helps him reach higher areas and the shield protects him and the siblings from stronger attacks or fire shooting blockages. All siblings belong to the magical race called the Corines, which are currently under the attack of an enemy evasion from a faction called the Erlags. This battle has been ongoing for a very long time and the Corines are starting to flee their own lands. The graphics are beautifully hand drawn and even during the game part of the game it looks incredibly impressive. It definitely gives an Ori and the Blind Forest vibes with its look and gameplay but it is still an enjoyable game. I loved the small touch of having creatures going past in the foreground as you moved about the game. Sometimes the story can get a little bit lost if you rush through it and don't read all the text. There are bits of hidden lore within the game as you explore with a little, few little hidden mini games. Uh, unfortunately I wasn't talented enough to complete in the allocated time so I'm not quite sure what they would have given. Uh, therefore, there is lots of search and find throughout the game to give you a better idea of what's going on. That said though, the game can be played and understood with just the basic lore that is shared. I do wish that they shared more about the siblings and where they got their light and powers from comparison to the other Corines in the game, especially when some of the NPCs mentioned that they were worried for them but they didn't have scratches on them or something. I just would like to know why are they so strong and what is their connection to the light? The combat is consistent and it's sometimes challenging, especially since the characters can't hold much in their pockets. During the first few levels it wasn't so much of an issue, but as the combat became harder the need for health potion increased and the lack of pockets became an issue. Luckily if you are completing a mission to take something to a certain point, the item that you are taking to complete the mission does not count to your pocket room. There are many different puzzles that you are to complete during your time in the game. A lot of them require a particular sibling to complete a certain part. For example, Greek is the smallest and you can crawl through tunnels, but the other two siblings require a different way through. This can be a bit challenging at first, however, once you understand the puzzle, it is a very simple answer as to how they get through. This can sometimes cause a lot of run around though, especially for one case during my playthrough where Greek had to run through a tunnel and a button swapped the siblings to get through and I would need to go and press the button then run Greek around again, press the button again, it became much more tedious. This is not such a big issue except I wasn't sure where I was going at the time and so I had to go back again and it made a lot of run around. Having the three siblings to play was a great gameplay mechanic and I really enjoyed it. Although I did find Raydel rather sluggish to play and I was extremely frustrated he couldn't swim when the other two could. 
The save points did tend to be far away, especially during the later levels. This was a bit of a pain and the map was extremely hard to find your way around and it caused me to get lost a lot. Overall though, this game was a lot of fun to play. I really enjoyed the way that they used the three different characters with three different techniques to play with. I wish there was a bit more lore about the siblings, but otherwise it is a beautifully made game. You play as three siblings, each with their own personal skills, and you have to help collect items for an airship so they can escape with the other Corvines after Erlag's ravage and invade their land. Graphics join the gameplay comfortably and are beautifully hand-drawn. Small cutscenes allow you to enjoy the beauty of the graphics while still enjoying the storyline of the game. Each area was drawn completely uniquely to separate them from each other, which was helpful in finding where to go as well. The music was beautiful and I really enjoyed it. It had a lovely atmospheric adventure feel throughout the game and it helped tell the story alongside the graphics and gameplay itself. Having three different characters to play, each with their own unique abilities, was an extremely clever use of the gameplay mechanic. I loved how they all had to work together, and the more you used them together, the easier it was. It was at sometimes tedious when the grapple wouldn't connect for me, and I found Radiel to be super sluggish, but I believe it was all part of the characterization as the older and much larger brother. The story I found extremely entertaining and in some parts I wish they had included more in the main storyline. However, there is a lot of lore found around the game as you explore different areas. The cinematic clips were beautiful break from the gameplay moments and seamlessly linked together. Given that you do not get all achievements by the end of the game and the many different books of lore that I found throughout the game while playing it, I believe that there is much opportunity to replay this game for those who are looking to find everything in the game. I give it 4 out of 5 howls.